In this Substance Painter tutorial for beginners, you will be introduced to the Layers and Materials options in Substance Painter. The link to download Substance Painter is in the description. If you want to follow along, I have provided the model in FBX format that I made in Blender 2.9. The link is in the description. I will start by showing you how to import a 3D model and bake the maps. Under the File menu, choose New, and in the New Project windows, you can choose which template you want to use. I will usually use PBR Metallic or the Unreal Engine. I will use 2K for the document resolution and DirectX for the normal map format. I click on select and open the low poly FBX file and then click OK. Now we need to bake the maps. Under the texture set settings tab, scroll down until you see the mesh map section. and click on Bake Mesh Maps. In the baking window, we can uncheck ID since I'll be baking that separately. In the High Definition Meshes field, open the High Poly FBX model. Change the output to your desired output. Again, I'm going to use 2K. Then click on Bake Selected Textures. I then reopen the baking window and select only the ID. You don't have to do this separately, but I found it to be a little bit more reliable. I delete the high poly from the high definition meshes section and open the ID FBX file. Then click on Bake Selected Textures. Now I'll start working with layers. I'll add a fill layer and rename it to base color. I'll then choose the color channel and add a color for the base. I'm just going to use dark gray. I then filter the shelf for metal and drag the steel rust and wear material onto the mesh. I right click on the material layer and add a white mask. I can now choose a brush and paint onto the mask. Exposing the underlying base color. I can choose the arrow negative alpha and use it to stamp onto the metal. If I hold control and the right mouse button and move the mouse side to side, I can change the size. If I hold down control on the left mouse button and move the mouse sides to side, I can change the flow. If I hold control and the left mouse button and move the mouse up and down, I can change the rotation. I can now use this alpha to expose the underlying base by using the white mask. Now let's look at Smart Materials. Smart Materials have mesh specific details that automatically adapt to your mesh. If 
I delete the layers that I have added and then apply the steel painted scraped green you will notice that there is now not only a metallic green base color there are also damages and dirt applied to the mesh if I open up the folder you can see all of the layers that make up the smart material the base layer is made up of a fill layer with a roughness filter the surface details are using the height and roughness channels the edge damage has a color applied to it and is also using the height roughness metallic and color channels the dirt is made up of a simple gray color and also uses the roughness channel sharpen uses all of the channels as well as a sharpen filter we can also make changes to the smart material for example i can change the base metal color to a red I can also change the edge damages to a lighter red color. There are also blending modes available to us in Substance Painter. If I add a fill layer above the steel painted layer and add a black mask, I can use a brush to paint a color and then change the blending mode just like you can in Photoshop. We can also make materials similar to smart materials within Substance Painter. I'll delete the two layers and then add an iron raw damaged material. I can then add a fill layer above the iron layer and fill it with a red color. Then add a white mask. Now nothing will change because we need to add a generator. I'll right click on the mask and choose add generator. I'll then choose the material edge from the generators. And now we have red damage to the edges of the mesh. If I actually wanted the reverse of this, I can right click on the mask and choose invert mask. These materials can be further refined by using a paint layer. If I right click on the mask, I can add a paint layer If I then choose a brush and if I use black, I'll reveal more of the underlying metal. And if I use white, I can erase some of the edge wear. Now let's say we want to add a different material to only specific parts of the mesh. This is where the ID map comes in. I'll add an iron brush material to the layer stack and add a white mask. And I'll right click on the mask and choose add mask with color selection.
this will give me access to the ID map. I can now click on pick color and choose the blue color on the ID map. Now you can see the iron brush material is applied only to those areas that I selected. If you plan on following the next tutorial in the series where we will be exploring alphas and rendering in Substance Painter, make sure you save the file you're working on so we can pick up where we left off in this tutorial. If you found this useful, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.